this is my biggest son, Robert Latchman. He's an artist, and I'm very proud of him. Everybody asks me in my neighborhood, what program does Robert go to? He changed so much, what's going on? He have this confidence, you know, that what he's doing, that he's gonna accomplish something. This is how I wanted him to, to feel and be. They teach me a lot of good experience in life. They leave me the right world in many ways and learn new steps. He wasn't really learning anything in the public school and I knew something was uh, wrong somewhere along the line. It was uh, devastating. But then one day somebody told me about this program called the Leak Center. We have built a world passionately committed to helping children, to helping adults fulfill their lives. Our children work day after day, hour after hour, with our very, very patient and dedicated staff. It takes tremendous courage, and our children have that courage, and their parents have that courage, to really struggle to learn to do things that come so easily to other children. The school is really about family. From the clinical team, meaning the psychologist, myself the psychiatrist, as well as the occupational and physical people, but even from the teachers. We are all working together as one team, one unit, working with the individual student, as well as the families, and I think that's what makes the school such a kind of loving, integral program that you notice the second you walk into the building. Christian was completely out of control impulsive, um, destructive. He would put holes in our walls at home. Um, and like I said, he was aggressive with his brother. He would hit me, curse at me. We accept students who are rejected from every other Board of Ed school in the New York City metropolitan area. That means the League School is accepting students who have significant psychiatric issues and comorbidities. This is serious business. Half of the population of people who are in prisons have psychiatric diagnoses. Half of the children who are in juvenile detention centers have psychiatric diagnoses. Part of our mission is to help our children now when they are reachable, before patterns of failure have become entrenched, before they think of themselves as failures, to help our children and give them different outcomes. Once he started going to the league, he started learning um, skills, started learning how to use his language instead of um, you know, hitting or instead of yelling. Um, he learned how to play appropriately, to sit down, have a conversation, um, and he learned to wait his turn. Those are the kinds of things that helped me out at home. It made a big difference. This art brings something out of him that make him like uh, is something that was hidden, I don't know. Land gives our artists every opportunity to reach their fullest potential, and that is the mission of the League Treatment Center as well. I think the land program constantly inspires them to reach and work towards new goals for themselves. These outside world people don't even care this much, but inside people at the League Center do. We really have good support because people know who I am and they know my situation and what my needs are in order to become in order to become a famous cartoonist and producer and voice artist. What I've seen over the last year is the self-esteem and the, the feeling the artists get like, you know, I can, I can get there myself. I'll take the bus or the train. I'm going to the studio and I'm going to do my work. So people can see out in the real world what the work that I can do. Whether it's developing your imagination through art, or your potential academically, or your dreams as a parent that your child succeed. 
this imagination and this courage are a vital part of every single day here at the Lead Treatment Center. Security, self-confidence, all of that. That is nothing in this world that he cannot do if he put his mind to it. This is what uh, the Lead Center did for him. I feel happy and proud, part of my success in life.